Guys, how you doing? Today we're gonna do a real short and to the point video about the basic differences between the GMC Acadia and the Chevy Traverse. Now this will hold true for 2018 and 2019 models. Uh, this style Acadia actually did come out halfway through 2017. That year they had two models. They had the GMC Acadia, which is this, brand new design, and they had the GMC Acadia Limited. Now the Limited was the same size as the Traverse in 2017 the new version got a lot smaller. And that's really what I wanna highlight in this video today. Both of these vehicles are front wheel drive based, okay? So they're front wheel drive with the option of all wheel. If you go for the all wheel drive, you spend a little bit more. However, you will then have control of which you can turn your four wheel drive, or I should say your all wheel drive on or off. Uh, this way you'll get better fuel economy if you run it in front wheel drive on, on beautiful days like today. The Acadia does have a four cylinder option and then it has a V6. The Traverse is only a V6. And the main difference between these two trucks, because you could option them pretty much with the same features, the main difference is the size. And what you'll see, I line these up mirror to mirror to, to give us a good idea of exactly how, uh, how much different in size they are. You'll see the Traverse is taller than the Acadia. It's also gonna be wider than the Acadia and it's longer than the Acadia. Even the wheelbase is longer. If we look where the wheels start here and kind of walk our, walk our way to the back, you'll see you have an extended wheelbase on the Traverse. Now, what that means is more room on the inside for passengers and cargo. The Acadia here is a six passenger or a seven passenger vehicle. The Traverse is a seven passenger or an eight passenger. As we check out the cargo space here behind the third row of a Traverse, I brought a ruler. So we're gonna open this up and we're gonna measure that right around the center from the back of the third row to the back of the uh, cargo area is about 23 and a half inches. If we take that right over to an Acadia, back of the third row, you're to about 16 inches. You can see you have much more room behind the third row. The Traverse is also a wider vehicle. So this is a 60-40 split third row. It's a three passenger third row. You can fold down the 40% side, the 60% side, and you have another seatbelt that comes out from the ceiling uh, shoulder belt for your third passenger. Now the Acadia folds the same way. It's a 50-50 split seat and uh, it's only a two passenger. And that's really the main difference in these vehicles is the size, both in the third row and behind the third row. So if you want a little extra room, the Traverse would be the way to go. When sitting in the second row of a Traverse, you can see plenty of room. Now this seat, as well as in the Acadia, it does go forward and back, so you have some extra travel. If I move this seat all the way up to maximize the room in the third row, this is the third row seat. My head is just about touching the ceiling. My knees are just about touching the seat but I actually have room where I can sit here and I'm relatively comfortable. In the Acadia, same situation. I have plenty of room in the second row. I can move this seat all the way forward, which would limit my leg room here, but maximize it in the third row. And in the third row, you'll see I can still fit. My knees have plenty of room and headroom is a little less. However, my head, uh, my hair is a little tall right now is actually touching the ceiling. Uh, again, the Traverse being a little taller, a little wider and a little longer than the new Acadia. Other than those few differences, the vehicles can pretty much be equipped very similar. Uh, both have the ability to fold this seat forward with a front-facing car seat in the seat to access the third row. That's in the Acadia and the Traverse. Both have climate control settings in the back for rear passengers, USB ports for the second row, and also USB ports in the third row. So if you have your children in each row, they can keep their iPads or phones or tablets, whatever, charged while you're driving down the road. Both vehicles also come with an available Wi-Fi hotspot. Uh, the, the hardware is built into the vehicle. You just have to purchase it through OnStar. Right now for $25 a month, you can have unlimited Wi-Fi data to the vehicle. You can attach seven or link seven devices to that Wi-Fi plan. And uh, it's month to month, so there's no contract. You can cancel any time. So that's really it. You know, I have other videos about the Chevy Traverse. I don't sell Acadia's new because we're strictly a Chevrolet store, but we do have them in a certified pre-owned lot. Uh, if you have any questions at all about these vehicles, please put them in the comments below. I'd happy to answer them all. If you got any value out of the video, please uh, give it a thumbs up. And uh, sorry the cars are completely covered in pollen. It's been a couple nice days with no rain. And, uh, you know, it's hard to keep the things clean with all the pollen in the air and all the trees around the dealership. I am Dave B. Sells Chevy. This is my YouTube channel. Please hit subscribe. I'll see you in the next one.